Okay, so we had our session zero game, and uh, I was just going to summarize it since it uh, did not record the session. Um, however, I do have an appropriate display that works with OBS Studio, so uh, we will start recording game sessions again. Anyway, so we uh, covered rumors. Regarding uh, the Gray Council, a um, little bit of information about it: that it's made up of twelve members, uh, three from the military class, four from the wizarding class, and then five uh, so-called average citizens. Um, they interfere with events to try and make things as uh, least disruptive as possible for the general Feywild. <laughs> Beyond that, um, we covered a little bit of uh, some of the new mechanics. Um, if you want to pick up a feat uh, based on your class, I will allow it as long as it has a plausible explanation, uh, specifically referencing Dave with a soldier background. Uh, he picked up a resilience. So that's kind of what uh, that relates to. Um, let's see. Covered... Uh, sponsor who is Zephyr the Archmage Platypus and then uh, another friend of yours Quill who has left training and is uh, going to the Underdark or Fae Dark um, and basically he is decided to pursue the profession of assassin. Um, so he left your, your company uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, other individuals who are <laughs> friends or helpers, we have Grog and Grug, uh, a pair of Fomorian brothers. They're not allowed in uh, Yorlas or any city for that matter. But uh, if you guys are out and about in the Feywild and have issues, they have been known to help you, um, help get you healing and those kinds of things. Uh, then we have Malamber, um, who is a wizard from Offworld um, who sometimes visits Zephyr and uh, does extraordinarily uh, complicated feats of magic things that uh, uh, Zephyr has, uh, is unable to do by himself then there's Weasel now Weasel is a uh, modified giant rat who has learned to speak common. Um, he has a crush on Hannah's character, but uh, he's never expressed that crush. So uh, he generally follows Winston. Uh, Winston is a Eladrin prince, uh, but he is literally clumsy beyond belief um, so he generally looks like rumpled and um, disheveled all the time because his clothes are covered in food and spilled drinks and uh, other debris from disasters uh, that he has caused by accident uh, he's actually uh, one thing we didn't cover um, he is actually in your same training classes um, that 
kind of keeps him out of the palace. Uh, so, and then of course there's Zephyr, who is the sponsor for almost everybody. Uh, um, basically, if you're not an Eladrin, uh, you have to be uh, sponsored for your class and to get your permit. So that covers generally your, the helpers, other uh, Zephyr, yeah. Um, Wade, you are a three-quarter orc, or not, I'm sorry, not orc, hobgoblin. Um, so you get all the benefits of being a hobgoblin, but uh, it, uh, the reason you're three-quarter hobgoblin is you would not be allowed in El Eladrin cities uh, if you were a full uh, hobgoblin. So, uh, and I will allow you to pick what race is your one quarter. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, we covered the lords of the Feywild, uh, the seasonal lords. Um, there's the king of winter, uh, who is basically a grumpy... Um, you could say grumpy bastard uh, if uh, you tread into his territory he likes to freeze off body parts uh, then there's the queen of the spring fae um, she's more mischievous likes to play practical jokes um usually doesn't mean permanent harm, uh, but she has been known to coat or uh, drug individuals, strip them naked, coat them in pollen um, and nectar, and then set them loose in the Feywild. Um, the biggest injury that has been a result of that was a hummingbird pierced somebody's eardrum while trying to get the nectar out of their ear. So, let's see. Then we have the summer fay uh, who seems to uh, king of the summer fay. Most people ignore him. Uh, usually he goes around undetected um, except for when he tries to cast magic um, apparently he can only do wild magic and apparently that goes wrong like 90-95% of the time uh, however when he gets it right uh, his spells can be spectacular so uh, but he is he, he just kind of roams, roams the Feywild. Now, there are two individuals regarding f the Fall Fey. One is the king of the Fall Fey, who is a storm giant. Then there is the guardian of the Fall Fey. Uh, the guardian of the Fall Fey is an Aladrin. And not much is known uh, other than this, the, uh, those of you who were giant foundlings uh, were found by the king of the Fall Fae. So, let's see. Much beyond that, we didn't really, everybody just kind of covered their character information. Um, 
And that's kind of it. So, um, yeah. Oh, uh, you are in the town of Yara last, by the way. So, um, so I guess I'll end this here. We'll get this posted and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, see you when we get the first, uh, first actual session going. So anyway, that's it. Thanks guys. Bye.